Good afternoon, everyone. It's Simon Anderson here for Simon TV. I've just stepped outside of court uh, where Eliana Rabashkin has been convicted, convicted and discharged. Here with me now is one of his victims, Tanya Sturt. Good afternoon, Ms. Sturt. Hi. How are you feeling after that? I am feeling brilliant. I feel vindicated and I am absolutely thrilled, actually. This was a low-level conviction um, for a low-level offence, but it means a lot in the long run. It means a lot for women's rights. It means a lot for the women who attended Albert Park, were uh, refused the opportunity to speak because uh, trans activists didn't want them to. And this shows that what happened to us was not right. It's not fair and we should be allowed to speak. I think you're exactly right. And I think the judge really did note that, that uh, what Rabashkin had done was premeditated political violence. She also made mention uh, of the fact that while he had expressed remorse, he hadn't actually apologized. I think that her perception was that he was sorry for the consequences for him personally, but did not regret what he did to you and Mrs. Keane Mitchell. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, she mentioned that a number of times, yesterday and today, um, I think that really stuck in her core. I mean, it certainly stuck in mine. The last time uh, we were here, you had a very successful event. I think it was September 2023 100%. when uh, women were allowed to speak and the trans activists and the rainbow community in general attacked that demonstration as well. How does it feel to be back here once again uh, at a place where you had a significant victory after Albert Park? Feels poetic, feels beautiful. This is the way it should be. I certainly agree. Uh, people should be able to, to express their political opinions without fear of violence. Uh, in the days after Albert Park, Green Party leader Chloe, Chloe Swarbrook and Labour Party leader Chris Hipkins both expressed support for what their activists had done to women in Albert Park. Have either of those two leaders of the Greens and the Labour Party reached out to you to apologise for what their activists did and what they subsequently said in support of their activists? Oh, don't be funny, Simon. Of course not. This whole uh, marketing ploy to dehumanise any woman who doesn't agree that men are women and women have penises um, is fairly successful. And people are holding on to that with every strength that they've got so that they continue to abuse us. I, I think it's a great day for New Zealand democracy that our courts have rejected the ideology of suppression and violence that the Labour and Green political parties espouse and promulgate via their activists. Congratulations once again on your victory. Um, you. I think that it's taken you a long time and an awful lot of effort to get here today uh, and very much well done you. Before we finish, is there anything else you'd like to say? Yes, um, I do want to say something. Uh, the judge's uh, sentencing notes will indicate that she uh, mentioned that the police helped Kelly J get out of the uh, uh, Albert Park at, on that woman speak. Um, I just want to credit the two anonymous marshals who actually got Kelly J out along with the security team. Uh, those women didn't get any credit at the time because they chose to remain anonymous. Um, I know who they are. They know who they are. They did a fantastic job and they deserve every piece of gratitude they can get. Well, I think you're right. And my footage and footage from other independent photographers who were there showed that the police did not assist at all inside the park. Correct. All right. Well, thank you for your time, uh, Ms. Sturt. Best wishes to you. Thank you very much, Simon.